Hello boys and girls. We're back again talking about force, motion, and energy in our science unit. Yesterday we reviewed the words motion and position. If you need to go back and rewatch yesterday's video to review, please do so now. If not and you're ready to continue, today we're going to do a short lesson on speed. Speed is how fast an object is moving. It is a measure of motion. In order to calculate the speed, you need to take the distance an object traveled and divide it by the time it took to travel from the starting place to the stopping place. For example, if you want to go to Walmart from your house, you need to calculate the distance it takes to get there. So from my house, it's about five miles from my house to Walmart. Then you need to divide it by the time it takes you to get there. So usually on a typical day, if it takes me about eight minutes to go to Walmart. So I would take the distance five and I would divide it by the eight minutes time and that's going to tell me the speed I was traveling to get to Walmart. Have you ever ridden in a car for a couple of hours to visit someone? If you have, this might surprise you. Just a century and a half ago, which is 150 years, you might have had to do it in a wagon and the trip could take a couple of weeks. Things moved a lot more slowly back then. But as people began to understand what made things move, things began to speed up. The invention of the steam engine allowed people to get from place to place as fast as steam-powered trains would go. Later, gasoline-powered cars sped things up even more. Then came jet airplanes and even rockets. Now, distances traveled by your ancestors over weeks and weeks can be traveled by you in hours and hours, or even minutes and minutes. What's in store for those who come after us? No one knows, but it's a good bet that it'll be speedy.